Hi there, it's Kirsty from Cultured Wellness and today I'm going to show you how easy it is and how quick it is to make the Cultured Wellness Kiffer using our starters. Now our starters are incredible. They are teeming with billions of bacteria, beautiful live bacteria that are going to support your gut microbiome, your immune health and help you with your digestion and overall vitality. They're so easy to use and you can make so many different things once you've got started with your basic coconut kiffer. Alrighty, let's get started. So what you need first is a glass jar to ferment your kiffer in. Now I've got a carafe here, but you can use any type of glass jar. A three litre jar is just perfect. And the most important thing is to make sure you've got a really tight, airtight lid on the top. It's absolutely vital. You do not want oxygen getting into your ferment because that's how mold grows and that's how we have other bacteria coming into the ferment that we don't want. So an airtight lid and absolutely important that you use a glass jar. If you use plastic, the bacteria actually goes in there and starts eating at the plastic and then you start drinking the plastic. So it's pretty gross. With your glass jars, you don't want to use detergent when you're cleaning them because the detergent creates a film around the jar which then gets all slimy and the bacteria don't know how to interact with that um, detergent and then it compromises the ferment. So just a um, hot wash and you can use your hand to get in there, nice hot wash and then let it air dry. So there's not too much maintenance when it comes to doing your kiffer. Alrighty, so the first thing you need is obviously your starter. When you get your starter, it will arrive and it may either be frozen or really cold. So you want to make sure that it's room temperature when you start the fermenting process. So leave it out overnight or if it's arrived and it's you know room temperature itself, just leave it out for a little bit before you get started. Now, some of the beautiful bacteria may have settled at the bottom of the bag. So make sure you just give it a really good shake to get all of the bacteria from the bottom of your bag and all the sediment has mixed through. So I've got my starter here ready to go. So all I'm gonna do is pour it in to the jar. So very, very simple. It's not rocket science making this kipper, which is good. And then you're going to add your coconut water. Now, with regards to your coconut water, you wanna make sure that it is preservative free and 100% coconut water. So there are lots of coconut waters out there on the in the market at the moment. And some of them have great labeling. They do what we call clean washing, where they have great, great labeling and they'll say, all natural or 100% or perfect for your body. They'll have all sorts of different ways of um, trying to get you to buy it. But they, when you turn around and have a look on the back, often it will have a preservative, a starch, it'll have a filler um, and yeah, it can get quite confusing. So please make sure that you read the back and the ingredients in your coconut water to make sure that it is 100% coconut water. All right, so I've filled up my glass jar with the coconut water and also with the kipper. So all we need to do now is put that airtight lid on and it's ready to go. Now you can see that I've left some space between the, where the kipper and the solution has ended and where the top of the glass jar is. Now that's really important. You wanna leave some space for the ferment to work. So please don't um, fill it right up to the top. It'll get really active and it may blow the top. So make sure you leave some space between the lid and where the kiffer ends. Now you wanna ferment it for between 24 and 48 hours on the bench. Now, how do you know how long to ferment it for? Well, that comes down to the temperature of where you're fermenting it. So in the height of summer, when it's really warm, your kiffer may be ready in 24 hours because 
our um, bacteria from our culture starters love this beautiful ideal temperature of around 18 to 21 degrees. That's their ideal temperature and consistently at 18 to 21 degrees. Now, you know, it's going to be warmer that, than that in summer. So those bacteria, they go about their job of eating up all the beautiful sugars in the coconut water and turning it into that kiffer. So they'll be really active. It'll be quick, it'll happen quickly. On the flip side of that, it's going to be really slow in winter time. Most of us don't have our houses heated consistently during winter at around that 20 degrees and it often you know, cools down overnight and then warms up during the day and so it's going to take a lot longer. Now for your first ferment where you get it from us and you start that very first ferment, um, it takes a while to activate. So it may take sometimes four days to get going for that first ferment. So be patient, it will happen and it just takes longer during winter and also for that first ferment, so be patient. So how do you know when it's ready? It will taste tart, it will be effervescent on your tongue, it'll be bubbly, it will actually be quite cloudy, it changes colour. So there'll be a lot of sediment, um, it'll be cloudy and you will know that it's ready by even by the smell, it smells fermented. So that tart effervescent taste, the smell and the appearance. Now once again, if it's not ready when you taste it, leave it on the bench and just keep it going. It doesn't matter, you can leave it out on the bench and off you go. And now, once you have um, fermented it on the bench, you pop it in the fridge. So you store it in the fridge. You can store it in the fridge for around six months. This is a living food. So it's very active and it will store really, really well. And then off you go and you drink it and you enjoy it. And it's gonna support you so much with regards to your digestion, immunity, so many wonderful aspects. Now, when you're ready to make your next batch, you take a cup from this batch that you've made and then you start the whole process again. So you take a cup, add, add the cup to your jar, add the two litres of coconut water, put the lid on, ferment it on the bench and off you go. Once you've finished that batch, you take another cup from the batch to start another process. So you can make five batches from one culture starter that you get from Cultured Wellness. So that's five batches making the two litres of coconut kefir and that ends up being about 10 litres of kefir that you've made from one culture starter. So it's, um, you can get a lot of kefir out of that. So once you have made your batch, um, a lot of people ask me, well, how much do I have? How do I know how to get started on it? It is a really powerful kefir. In one cup of our kefir, there is 27 billion CFU. So CFU is colony forming units, and that really is just a measurement of how much thriving, beautiful bacteria there is in the ferment. It's really powerful. So if you have imbalances in your gut, if you are rebuilding your gut microbiome, or if you've always had a tendency to have what we would call a dodgy gut, then start slow, start, you know, some of our clients, we have to start them with a tablespoon and do that once a day and work up from there. So you might be starting with a tablespoon, you might start with um, a half a cup, and then you'll get up to one to two cups of kefir a day. That is a really ideal amount to have and having it with your food supports your digestion. So it's really, really awesome to have it at the table. Now, once you've had done your basic coconut kefir, so your basic ferment, then the options of what you can do after that are absolutely endless. So here's one that I have previously done. You can see that it's quite cloudy, so we can tell that it's ready even by how it looks. So we've added in here some kiwi fruit. The kiwi fruit, once it's in there for a while, ends up you know, turning it a beautiful green colour. And it's absolutely incredible for 
Adding in fruits if you have imbalances in your gut and you can't handle a lot of sugar. Adding the fruit in enables the bacteria in the ferment to go about eating up the fructose sugar in the fruit, turning it into a beautiful bacteria source and then you don't have to deal with eating those sugars. So for example, this one, you could also add in some strawberries as well. Once you add in heaps and heaps of strawberries, it changes the colour again, so it keeps your kids really entertained. It turns it into a beautiful pink colour, and it's such a wonderful thing that you can then go on and make pink ice blocks with, you can make pink juices and smoothies with, so many things that you can do. But the strawberries, once again, the fruit will be, um, the sugar from the fruit will be eaten up and you'll be able to handle it. And it's a great way of adding nutrients in, for example, vitamin C from the kiwi fruit, but not that sugar and adding in that fiber. I've got a few other things that I've done here. Once you have made your original kiffer, you can then use a little bit of that kiffer as a starter to make other fermented vegetables and fruits. So in here, I've got carrot sticks all cut up in there. So I've cut the carrot sticks up, added a little bit of kefir in there. So for this size, adding in maybe a, a quarter of a cup, it doesn't need to be that much because it's quite small. But you know, when I do uh, fermented apples or sauerkrauts or those sorts of things, I do them in very big, large jars, like three litre jars. So you might be adding a half a cup in there because it's, you know, obviously you're fermenting more things. So with these carrots, I've added that kiffer in there, added some water in, and I've put a little leaf, uh, cabbage leaf in there to hold the carrot under the brine line and then pop the lid on there. You can put cinnamon sticks in there. You can put all sorts of different flavors in there. And you just pop that out on the bench and leave it to ferment for anywhere from two to four days, depending on the temperature. Now, once that's ready, once again, you, it will be this beautiful tart taste. So you won't be able to taste the sugar from the carrots, just that tart taste. And it's such a wonderful thing to serve as a condiment for your lunch. Say if you're having some salmon, you can put that there as a condiment. I've got some apples here. Now, apples for me used to be a bit of an arch nemesis. They caused me a lot of um, gut dysbiosis and a lot of pain because of the fructose sugar in there. But apples have so much nutrients. They've got a beautiful amount of fiber, cellulose in the skins, and so you don't wanna miss out on having all of those nutrients and all of those beautiful health-giving properties. So by fermenting it, you reduce the sugar, but you get all those benefits. So I've just cut them up. I've added some cloves, added some cinnamon, once again, held it down under the brine line and put the lid on. And this is another one. The fermented ba bananas is a huge favorite of lots and lots of people in the culture wellness community and lots of our clients. So once again, chop up the bananas, pop them in the jar, put the kiffer in there, fill it up with water, hold it down, and then you've fermented out your bananas. And you can make fermented banana pancakes, you can make fermented banana bread. There's so many things you can do. Just eat them straight out of the jar, however you want to have it. So the opportunities, once you've made that original kiffer, and, the op and what you can do is just endless. Now, we have this beautiful, amazing, delicious cookbook here that is absolutely teeming with, I think it's about 150 recipes of different ways you can use your culture starters and what you can make. So fermented mayonnaise, fermented dips, ice blocks, all sorts of things that you can do using the culture starters to go on and incorporate fermented foods into your everyday menu and make it really, really quick and easy. So it, there's just so many options and so many things you can do once you've got that original um, basic ferment down pat. So I really hope you enjoy making your culture wellness kiffer and please tag me in either Instagram or Facebook at culture wellness. Show me what you're making, share with me what you're making and I wish you all the best with your fermenting.